Y'all 2024 has not been Drake's year because he has been taking multiple L's all year long, and it doesn't look like that's going to change anytime soon. Because he just got another major L after being quiet for many weeks, Drake tried to make the comeback with another song. But it looks like it's going to be another flop because some new evidence suggests that he has been paying streamers to push the song. And like that's not embarrassing enough, his former mentor Lil Wayne just humiliated Drake even more in his new song, where he threw the master of all shade at Drake. Looks like the entire industry is getting tired of Drake and his shenanigans. So let me just break down all the recent mess. Drake is probably wishing that he never dissed Kendrick because it has gotten out of hand and is out of his control child. Even the universe seems to be Team Kendrick because Drake's Toronto mansion got flooded not long ago. Drake has been hiding in Canada for a while and fans believe that he was planning to lay low there until this whole thing with Kendrick blows over and he could slide back into polite society and pretend like nothing happened. But the universe said nope and his mansion was severely damaged by the severe flooding in the Canadian province of Ontario after that he tried to make a comeback. But it looks like it's going to be another flop because allegedly, according to some inside sources, Drake paid streamer Kai Somat to push his upcoming song with Lil Yachty. He can't seem to catch a break. Because Kendrick fans are on to his every move, Drake's grand return was supposed to be with this song. But it looks like he's going to have to figure something else out. Kai recently made one of his reaction videos to the unreleased song. But he claimed that he didn't get it from Drake or anyone in his camp. But fans are not buying that because they believe that Drake paid him for the reaction video. If you're wondering why fans think so, take a look at Kay's video for music. Drake watching like Kai be for real, that reaction seemed so fake because he got up and started dancing before Drake even started singing. Plus, there's no way he really thinks that the song was good enough for him to be doing all that dancing, especially since he wasn't even dancing on beat. It looked force AF. And this is when people started to speculate that Drake was actually the one who sent Kai the song and paid him to hype it up because Drake knows better than to drop a song without a proper promo after getting torched by Kendrick like this person said this is how you know when people are on payroll it didn't even call for all of that and speaking of Kendrick fans notice something sus about Kat's reaction and it's the fact that his Drake video looks similar to what he did when he reacted to Kendrick's diss track not like us yeah it's very much giving you can copy my work but switch it up a little I mean while Kai's reaction to Drake seems forced and like he was doing too much, it was as clear as day that he was genuinely vibing the Kendrick song. And, allegedly, Drake paid Kai to react in the same way as he did the Kendrick song Child Kendrick does live in Drake's head rent-free. If you think that's messy well, you're in for some extra drama. Because Drake just got into another feud with Lil Wayne. And it's honestly over for Drake. I mean, you know what Drake's issue is he keeps getting into feuds with rappers who can write better bars and out-RP him. And that's the reason he keeps losing his feuds. If you've been following up with Lil Wayne's relationship with Drake, then you probably know why they have bad blood. And it's because Drake betrayed Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne used to be Drake's mentor when Drake first got to Hollywood. And he took Drake and Nicki Minaj under his wing, teaching them the ropes of the industry. This was in the good old days of Wyatt CMB and Lil Wayne went out of his way to help Drake and Nicki become the superstars that they are today. And how did Drake repay Wayne? By sleeping with Lil Wayne's girlfriend and having an affair behind his back. Lil Wayne himself revealed this in his memoir, where he wrote, I woke up feeling effed up about the effed up day that I had hell, is what it is I'm used to arguing with my girl on a daily basis. But finding out that she slept with Drake was the absolute worst thing. I could have found out as a man honestly that is hurt and not because it was Drake, it could have been any man. And it would have hurt the same, the worst part of it was that Drake wasn't remorseful. And he blew Lil Wayne off, he said, when Drizzy came to see me he was like, yeah, it's true no E for her like that cause I did E her damn at that point, it didn't matter to me when it effing happened. Because the effing happened and his new song with rapper Cord Day called Saturday Mornings, Lil Wayne accused Drake of being a fake friend, saying I need more real love and less fake laughs. I wear this mean mug like a face mask. She give me real love with that fake ass. It fit me like a glove OG hands. I'm going to need a little love from your Haiti ass. Need less yes men and more amends. I'm going need more real prayers and less praying hands. I'm a goat ninja. You a sacrificial lamb. You a teddy bear ninja. You a teddy gar. Lil Wayne comes from a generation where rappers are direct with their disses. 
and it's kind of refreshing to see more rappers throw shade in the OG way, which is by hitting the studio and doing their thing. It's just crazy to see how many rappers are beefing with Drake, and at some point we might need to consider that maybe just maybe Drake might be the problem after all fans commented. If Drake thought trying Kendrick was a good idea, he for sure does not want to try Wayne LMAO. Wayne probably has the most info on him. In the industry, Drake's reappearance after the fade with Kendrick is looking like a mighty downfall. Cuz WTF is this caught, you know you fake jam to this nonsense. And case, not previewing that Drake record is absolutely frying me, you got to make it more believable, the acting is too hard, if I was Drake, I'd ask for my money back anywho. I wanna know how y'all feel about this, so drop your thoughts in the comments, then check out this next video.